everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I've got a couple of journals completed um, to share with you guys. And um, I think I'm going to try to do a little tutorial. Not that you would need it for this, but surprise, surprise, I've managed to find another use for those window envelopes. <laughs> and I know some of my ladies out there are keeping count, so they know I've still got um, in excess of 900 um, envelopes to go. But uh, this is... I didn't intend for this to happen. Yesterday I was in such a funk and I thought, well, <clears throat> I'm just going to play around. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, I just started playing with this and it just evolved and I am delighted with how these came out. So <clears throat> just to get started, this one I am going to name Days Gone By and it's got the little... Um, the little bird in the window and this one I'm naming precious moments with the little lady so let's just go through <clears throat> days gone by first um, as I said this is two <clears throat> window envelopes together those have been um, first coffee dyed and then um, I've just collaged papers and probably in the tutorial. Well, I will do a tutorial because, um, you know, just to let you see. And then obviously lots of stitching. I came back over it and sealed it with um, some of this Distress Collage Medium. So that made it look even more vintage because it's, um, if you've never worked with this, it's this particular one is the vintage. So it's got this Kind of a brown, but it's it's very subtle. But I like um, the way it looks because it gives a really nice matte finish to it. So that's how the cover was made, and I'm really happy with with how it's turned out. Now going inside, <clears throat> I was going to try to make this with tags, and then I thought no, because once you get the signature sewn in, it would be too difficult to do that. But I have reinforced it with muslin <clears throat> fabric. So this is a, a very durable um, jewelry uh, <laughs> a journal, even though you know it is the base of it is the um, window envelope with all of the paper and everything I've added to it. It's it's very durable. Closures, some seam binding with some eyelets. So let's get started inside. Um, here, this is uh, from Tsunami Rose. Uh, most of the papers that I used on the cover were Tsunami Rose, but I did mix some of Artie Mays in as well. And um, so this is one of the elements from Artie um, Tsunami Rose that um, you get, and I love that. I've done lots of little fabric snippets and things throughout, and then just various um, bits of ephemera, vintage ephemera that I've printed and distressed it and did you know, little clusters. I've done punching, stenciling, stamping. <laughs> and this is very old uh, French calligraphy uh, workbook paper that um, I have some over. And this is very old notebook paper. I've just been trying to pick that stuff up <clears throat> at my, um, sorry, let me pull my chair out, at the flea markets and car boots that I've been going to. Anytime I spot old paper, um, I generally pick it up because uh, it has such a nice, um, you know, aged color to it. So, this is another Tsunami Rose page. Um, and I've got old vintage, um, look at this, this is 1913, copyright 1915. That's the age of that, and it's quite sturdy. Um, music paper, so it's it's nice. Um, uh, let's see. Now this is a Tracy Fox. This is one of her new kits, and um, she's got some gorgeous gorgeous bits of um, ephemera in that kit. I haven't worked with it as a design team project yet, but that's probably going to be coming up fairly soon. But it just went so beautifully with this um, journal, because I wanted this to be you know, just all vintage. Um, some scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. More old paper. I did a bit of stamping up there. 
and then you can see I've got fabric ruffles with little snippets and this is just a little fake key um, Edith Holden paper and then some ledger paper and some more of that old notebook so there's still a lot of writing space in it <coughs> and then here I've made this tag that tucks down in there and frames that really pretty I think Now this came in and out so easily when I was working with it. <laughs> as soon as you turn the camera on, I don't know what happens, but um, here I've made some little pockets out of some more um, tea dyed paper and then little um, bits of um, paper that I had left over. So I've got a couple tags there. Quite a bit of sewing in this one. Um, yeah, I've been in, I don't know, I, I think I've told you guys, when I take a bit of a break, although I do need time, you know, away from work to refresh myself, I struggle to get back into it, and Monday and Tuesday were just not that productive, and I don't know why I have such a hard time getting into it. It almost, I'm almost to the point, I don't even want to stop doing it because it's it just takes me so long to get back into a groove but obviously things have happened that I had no control over but um, so on this page we have yeah, this page I made a little altered paper clip and I love how these have come out I'll give you a close up of that very sweet. This is very old trim. That's a mother of pearl button. And then here, <clears throat> this will flip up so you've got lots of little secret places to write. And then that's, I've tucked that one there just to hold it closed. And then just other little bits and pieces of ephemera picked up here and there. <laughs> um, I love how this journal's come out. I've really missed... Um, because I've done so many uh, really non-themed um, and then prior to that so many nature journals and I do love nature but I'm really enjoying getting back into the vintage because um, this was my first love with the junk journals was the vintage so it's it was fun to get back to this um, again these are from Tracy's new kit it is a gorgeous kit, and she always, always has the most amazing ephemera. But look at those little, they, I'm, a, either she shrunk those down, or those must have been um, a tea card or cigarette card that you could get here. So that's got me thinking this Sunday, I'm going to my flea market. I've never seen any with uh, the old-timey ladies on it. I'm going to have to have a prowl around and see if I can come across some of those. Um... If I do, I will share that with you guys and let you know. So this has all been backed onto a, another really old uh, book page that I got um, recently. And, uh, and then I've just folded up, made another pocket. And I love how that's come out. That's some of that. Um, just bits and pieces from my scrap pile. And then I, I took a little bead, glass beads and put those on an age safety pin. I've had numerous questions about my aging process. Um, unfortunately, guys, uh, we had a an aging solution that we used in our lighting company, and you can only get that if you're trade um, here in the UK. So I, I wish I could tell you guys. I know there's loads of tutorials online, but I've never tried them, and the reason I, I haven't is because this works so well, and it doesn't rust the metal. I don't personally like the rust because it will get on to things. So, um, but I'm sure if you look around, you can find something out there. But um, yeah, I'm just sorry I couldn't share. I, you know, some way for you guys to get the same result. Um, another little tag that I've just made with bits and pieces left over. That's the center signature. A couple more of the little tiny um, glass beads. And then um, this one, I love how that's come out. I love that fabric. Um, that's the one I recently made the Amelia journal with. And I'm just crazy about that because it's such a vibrant print. Um, so this is a genuine 
uh, postcard. No idea what the date is. Uh, I'm guessing about 1920s, just by the way the ladies were dressed, but I can't verify that, but it is an, a nice uh, postcard. Um, just a little bit of an uh, index card that I've stamped on. That's been tea dyed, and then an old playing card. And those are all tucked up in there. Um, punched on the corners there, did some stamping, so this gives you even more writing space. More snippets, stamping. Edith um, Holden book page that I've made into a little envelope pocket. And then inside I've tucked in one of um, Artie Mae's. She's got these beautiful old postcards in her shop. And I just made it into a little booklet so that you could do more journaling. <clears throat> and then over here, I've just... Um, Again, this is from Tracy's new kit. Beautiful image. And then I've just backed this um, scrapbook paper with some of my... I believe that was... Uh, okay, I'll tell you what happened on this one. And you might want to be aware of this. I was doing some tea dyeing one day in a metal pan. And I wanted to try to get my... Uh, tea, you know, the Rubio's tea, if you leave it quite a while, you'll get a really beautiful, like a rich honey color. And that particular day, I don't know, it wasn't that strong. The tea I had made up very strong, but I left it overnight and it reacted to the metal and it's just ended up coming out kind of a gray, but it's still very pretty. But <clears throat> I've never had that happen before, but I've never left Excuse me, I've never left my, um, well, I, I don't normally use a metal pan to start, and then I've never left it that long, so yeah. Another one of those little things you learn. <laughs> um, love this little snippet. This is some um, Liberty fabric. I purchased that probably six months ago. I've got um, some little off cuts of it. It's very expensive, but oh my goodness, the quality of that fabric is amazing. It just you, and I'm no fabric expert, but my goodness, when you feel it, you can tell it, and it it's reflected in the price. <laughs> so I only have a few little pieces of that, and it's I'm going to use it to make snippets. <clears throat> I loved how this um, fabric tip-in came out, and that button is absolutely stunning. So it just flips up, and then here you can have your secret writing. So both the journals are very similar. It's more that vintage um, music paper. Um, it's just, you know, a few little differences here and there. Now this last page here, I've just included this really old... Well, there's two really old book pages I put in. Um, I just thought those were kind of cool because they added some more color. This is this. That's what I think I enjoyed about this. There was a lot of color in this journal. This is an old German book page. I like all the um, the foreign book pages. I've I've only managed to get a hold of. Um, German and French so far, but I will be looking, I, although I was gifted some Russian, which was amazing, and I'm keeping that for myself. <laughs> um, another little tag in the back here, and I love how this has come out. It's got a little jingle bell, and the, again, this is a bit more of the Liberty fabric, and they are just stunning colors for autumn. Not that this is an autumn journal. This is just very much just, just old vintage. And then on the back, there's the window envelope. Um, like I said, I'm super happy with how these came out. So let me just get this tied up and I'll show you. Um, actually, I'll just put that to the side. Okay, so this is Precious Moments. And again, just did 
various bits from my stash, and this is a little metal button charm, an old wood button, same on, on the other one. And, of course, the covers are designed the same, so... So yeah, I hope everybody's okay. I know lots going on, and I think someone had tagged me for this um, 10 crafty questions challenge, and I do apologize uh, for not responding to that, guys, but I can't even share with you everything that has gone on, and it's, it's not directly affected us as a family. There's other things that have just coincided with uh, my father-in-law's death that it's just, um, I, like I said, it's it's not for me to share. It's not my story, but just devastating news um, with some very dear friends of ours. So, uh, so yeah, I just, you know, other than working to keep things, you know, ticking along, I've just not had time to really um, in, get involved with any of the challenges. And, you know, I'm hoping to get back in because we've got our five on the dime challenge coming up the 15th. And um, I do want to participate in more, particularly this sh um, Shabby Dabby Doo does this um, alphabet crafting thing, three things in a 30 minutes or something. I've been itching to do that, but it's just life has gotten in the way. So, again, this is very similar. Um, just few differences. I love this blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, another little old ephemera uh, library card. More snippet. Stenciling, punching. <clears throat> and then there's this tag again. I won't pull everything out because as I said it's it's very similar to um, the other journal I showed you. Another Tracy tag. Gorgeous. I love how that's come out. I just layered that up and put some lace under there. I'll give you a little close up there. I think that's a gorgeous little tuck spot. And then here, I'm loving how these came out. My little snippet things there with the um, beautiful fabric ruffles. I love stuff like that. Uh, like I like things to be pretty. Another little couple of pockets with some tags there. And I like how this little um, paper clip has come out. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, same two images. And no, I, I learned <clears throat> my lesson yesterday. Um, somebody had responded to me on, on that last um, journal I made because I, I got one of the items stuck in there. And she said, I learned from you not to stick it in there. And I was thinking, gosh, I wish I would learn to let things dry before I add more <laughs> items to them because it happens all the time. You guys know it does. Um, another little Tim Holtz photo die, and it's just been filled with little bits of ephemera. These aren't genuine, but they sure look it, don't they? I love those little um, cabinet photo cards. And I'll be looking for some of those at the flea market this weekend, too, because, <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous. I've got probably, I don't know, six or seven genuine ones. I can't tell you where the stinking things are. And, I mean, I've been through my stash like six times. Can I find that? And somebody gifted me some old stamps, and I don't want to name names because I don't want her to get upset. But, oh my gosh, can I find any of that stuff? Nope. I, I mean, sometimes I'm so organized that it just, I scare myself because I cannot find anything afterwards. Love how this came out. That's, you know, the edges off of Tim Holtz's um, fabric. What do they call that? Sal salvages or something? I like to keep those and put them in my little snippet rolls. And I just think that's really pretty. Just a little, another little fabric tip in and then some more of the little um, glass beads on that safety pin. So yeah, I think um, if I get the chance this weekend, I'm going to have to go through everything because that's really bothering me. Those were beautiful little um, cards and they were genuine. This is another old <coughs> vintage postcard. I wish they had the dates on them, but 
I don't know. I, I couldn't even guess on that one because there's really nothing to give you any kind of a reference. Another index card and then the old playing card just all tucked in there. Again, I love that little snippet there. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Gosh, I'm taking forever. Um, I love that little snippet there. And then another little postcard, kind of like a booklet I put in. So there is a lot of writing space still, even though it's a single signature journal. I don't know if I said that, guys. And there's approximately 56 pages um, in the journal, and then obviously all the um, little bits of ephemera that I've tucked in as well. So yeah, I'm trying to get my house back in order because we had family all last week and I've got to get, um, I've still got to get the spare room, get that cleared out and little by little each day I'm trying to just, you know, tack one room at a time and get everything ready and back into place because I'm going home in December. <laughs> uh, not that it's going to take me two months to get my house back in order, that sounds really sad, doesn't it? that it would take me two months to get the beds changed. <laughs> but I'm already in that mindset of, oh my gosh, Paul, get me my suitcase down. Not that I'm packing much to go over there, because I'll tell you what I'm doing. Because I've already made my mind up. I'm bringing back as much as I can from craft supplies in, in my unit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a suitcase inside a suitcase, and I'm going to take like maybe two outfits, and then the that way, because everybody I know that I'm staying with has got a laundry facility, so I'm like, oh, I don't care about any clothes now. I just want my crafting stuff back here. So I'm thinking, okay, if I just carry two outfits, my computer, and, you know, a few, maybe a pair of shoes or something, um, when I get there, I think I've got clothes in the unit too, but I can't even tell you now. But at any rate, that will give me two suitcases, because one's paid for with my ticket. So then I'd only have to pay $100 to bring the other bag, and I can get a lot of craft supplies in uh, in a suitcase for $100. I can bring a bunch of stuff back. So that's my thinking. I'm already starting to make my little list. Of, it's funny because I'm visualizing, well, what did I leave over there? So I've been making my list of stuff I, I think I've got, but I don't know if I do or not, but... I'm thinking, okay, I'll have to just go through, because it's packed. I mean, this is the problem. It's just going to be me. Paul's not coming. So I'm going to have to actually bring stuff out of the unit to be able to get back into my crafting drawers. <laughs> so I hadn't really thought it out that well when I, when I you know, packed it into the unit, because I should have made sure that everything I knew I'd want to come back and get was accessible at the front, but that would have been far too organized. So... So anyways, yeah, I'm trying to write down stuff, and then I've got my Hobby Lobby list going of stuff I know i got to pick up from there. Um, Tuesday morning, you can't really make a list for them. Joann's, I've got my fabric list of stuff I'm, I'm going to try to pick up from them. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous because I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to probably need about another five suitcases coming back, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to take that many over. So... I don't know. You you guys will end up seeing what I what I bring back, but as it stands, it'll just be two suitcase um, full. But um, I might end up going to the yard sale or something and picking up a cheap suitcase. And if I can buy a, a cheapy suitcase for I don't know twenty bucks, I might pay to have three suitcases brought back, and um, that way I can have a good old time. <laughs> I don't know why I just tied that one back up. But anyways, there they are, guys. Um, thank you so much for your patience on all my ramblings today. Um, I've really missed being on here. I missed you guys, um, and uh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to getting back into my little little routine of do some creep with me. I don't know if I'll get one this week just because I've got still got a couple little last minute things to do and as I said we've got our five on the dime challenge I gotta get my rear and gear for that so I've got to do that um, 
but hopefully next week I can do one um, because after next week I'm going away for a week so won't be much happening that at that point but anyways guys I'm gonna shut up I, I talked too much today I hope everybody's doing well I hope you're starting to see fall we are uh, which is awesome so I'll see you guys um, very soon take care bye